What is up guys, Bellamy here. In today's video I'm going to show you guys my, in what is my opinion, the most efficient way to farm Ultimate Vyisa or Vyessa, however you want to say it. I'm sticking with Vyisa. Um, correct me if you wish, but we're going with that today. Now, you have four pieces, four primary pieces that you're going to need to farm. I'm not going to cover the kind of common pieces, uh, materials that you need for the uh, researchers themselves. I'm going to be covering the four primary blueprints, that being the spiral catalyst, the stabilizer blueprint, the enhancement cells, and the actual ultimate Vaisa code itself. Now, they're all pretty easy to get if you use this rotation that I'm doing now. Um, most people or most content creators whoever you see people on reddit will tell you just go into the uh access info go to your ultimate visa and you know click a piece here and you can see where it drops right now this might be a little confusing to some however i notice a lot of people avoid accessing the abyssal void fusion reactors because they're a little bit more complicated a bit more annoying but in most cases in a lot of cases they're actually way more efficient to farm and i'm going to show you guys a fantastic rotation today on how to farm ultimate visa really really efficiently now you have four pieces to get to um i'll start with this one first because this is the first piece the only piece that you're not going to farm using the void reactors um the reason being is in most cases um you'll have two options there's a void reactor version um or void fusion reactor version and a hard mode boss version now in the hard mode hard mode boss versions you have to farm the appropriate amorphous material from the respective dungeons which takes time even if you get two materials per dungeon and then you have to go and kill the boss in this instance you only have to farm the amorphous material from the uh from the reactors and then you just pop the reactors kill the boss and in, a, in some of the cases the amorphous materials from the void fusion reactors actually have a higher percentage chance to drop the blueprints um, than their boss counterparts so that's what we're going to show today is the rotation that i like to do for that and how to do it the most efficient way however the first very piece here the uh, enhanced cells blueprint can only drop from hard mode boss amorphous materials so you have three options Pyromaniac with pattern 86, Frostwalker with pattern 114, or Executioner with pattern 56. Now, pattern 56 comes from the fastest dungeon in the game because it is in the starter zone. So if you do the hard mode version of the dungeon, I can show you it here in the infiltration operation uh, table, whatever you want to call this thing here, is in Kingston. It is called the Magister Lab. Now, all you have to do is jump in, click this one here, make sure it is set to Amorphous 56, which it is set by default. I would recommend re-rolling these stats here until you get something that's comfortable with you until you have a kill score above 20, 200%. That makes it far more likely that you're going to have 30,000 score by the end of the dungeon and that guarantees you dropping two of the amorphous materials. You can see here that the amorphous material, the first one here, it's going to drop 100% of the time no matter what your score. Getting the second one, as in the bonus one, if you have over 30,960 score, you will get a second one guaranteed. And you will also get a 20% chance at the shape stabilizer form, which is going to increase the likelihood of you dropping that rare ultimate Vaisa piece as well. So that is very, very good. So you're going to want to reroll this. Just click all the things here. You see kill score is not very good there. This one's 210 awesome that's really good we're going to look through here are there any modifiers that brick my build or make the dungeon really really tough for me if so re-roll it again and try again if it's suitable which in this case this would be fine i would start operation clear the dungeon like i said this is a dungeon from the starter zone so it is very very fast compared to other dungeons it takes five ten minutes max um depending on how long it takes you to kill the boss uh and it's very very clean and you as long as you're getting 30k uh 30.1k score you're going to get two amorphous materials and then you have to go and kill the hard mode executioner which is the first hard mode boss meaning he is much much easier to kill than many of the other ones so he is very fast as well so in that case it is very efficient for the remainder of the pieces um that being the stabilizer blueprint the catalyst blueprint and the actual ultimate views code itself we're going to go with void fusion reactors um, now to farm those materials um, the first one is going to come from this void fusion reactor here which is in uh, the frozen valley area in the fortress um, now it doesn't show it when you look at the void reactor because you have to kill the boss and it'll spawn the amorphous uh, shaping thing and you open the amorphous material there the amorphous materials come from these missions here which are these zone recon missions pattern 1118 that you can see there is the pattern that we're looking for in this instance 
um, and we'll get a bit more in depth with, with those things as we go through. But we're going to start the rotation here. So we're going to go through four different zones. We're going to go from Fortress to Hagios to Agna Desert and then into Vespers. So we'll go through that right now for you guys in the video um, and explain everything as we go along. So hopefully it's very clear for you to do this. Now, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do this on Sharon or Shireen, however you say it. Um, she's going to give you access to stealth, which will let you do bonus completion on these zone recon missions. I'll explain why um, as we go through. Now, the first two of these missions that we're going to complete here, you do not need to do the bonus uh, objective. You just have to go in, kill the barrels, kill the boss, and hopefully the material drops. However, if you do the bonus material, or the bonus part of the mission, you will have a chance to get more shape stabilizers, which is going to give you a better chance of dropping the ultimate Vaisa piece when it comes to shaping the amorphous materials. So we're going to do that. Now on Sharon, it is very easy. You can po simply pop stealth, run in, and instead of breaking the barrels, you interact with them like so. Now this functionally breaks them, but it counts as successfully infiltrating the uh the zone recon mission and you get a chance at the bonus materials which is a different amorphous material which in this instance we don't care about that bonus um, amorphous material um but it also gives us more chance of getting the shape stabilizers which is going to give us better chance of dropping the uh the actual vaisa pieces um you'll notice i have a friend with me um this is absolutely not necessary he just wants the vice pieces as well so i'm making sure that when i go in and pop all the barrels i don't kill the boss instantly so that he can come in and get credit as well so that's our first one like i said in this instance you can just break the barrels and be done with it kill the boss and you have a chance to drop your material um you can see that material 118 which is the one that drops our vice piece can drop from just the main reward um, but all of these have a additional reward for successful infiltration. In this case, it's Amorphous 119, which we don't care about, but we do care about the additional chance to get the Shape Stabilizer Form 8. Um, that is the corresponding one for the Amorphous Material 118, and it gives us a better chance at the Vaisa Material. So this is our first zone recon that we're going to clear. Next off, we're going to jump over to Hagios. We're going to go all the way down here to the Dune Base, and we're going to go for this strategic mission here. So we're going to head for that one. Um, just like this one we just did, you do not need to do the additional stealth mechanic for this one because it drops as a main reward. The next two, we're going to need to do that stealth. I like to do the stealth for every single one because like I said, extra additional chance for the uh, shape form stabilizer, which is awesome. Um, but again, not completely necessary for these ones. Now in this instance, this one is not up. Um, one thing while we are waiting for this one to respawn that I would like to share with you guys is if you do not already know, you can change zones to private here. You can switch this between public and private. Um, now I just switched this one to public and I cannot switch it back until I zone into a new area. Um, what this will do is it'll give other players opportunities to join the same instance as us. Doing so will likely mess with the uh, the infiltration, especially if you're doing the stealth mechanic, because you're going to end up with a bunny just flying through, blitzing all of the barrels and killing everything, which, if you're trying to be efficient and just farming the main reward, is fine. If you're trying to get the additional rewards for doing the stealth mechanic, that's a big no-no, we don't want that. So, what's the odds there's a bunny that's just landed next to me? Uh, <laughs> I heard their double jump, they're down there, this is a bunny, I fucking know it. Yep, there you go, so a bunny has arrived right on cue fantastic now i heard the humming of this which means it should spawn shortly um i'm not going to be able to do the stealth mechanic in this case uh because this guy right here that i cannot control is going to go ham which is fine um but we're going to switch back to private when we go to the next area so that it doesn't happen in future so we're going to hang out here hopefully this should spawn in a moment we're going to go ahead and fast forward for you guys in the video all right, now these bad boys have respawned, which is fine. And now, because I'm assuming there's a bunny here, I'm just going to go ahead and kill these barrels, which for this one, like I said, is perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and kill the mobs. Um, the bunny is probably just going to booty blast everything. Um, just kidding, they're uh, not a very good bunny player. It is what it is. Um, we'll kill the boss here that's about to spawn. Um, and then we're going to go and switch it back to private before we go to the next area. So, boss is dead. With any luck, we'll get an amorphous material. Obviously, it's not going to happen every time, which is all good. Now, 
I'm going to go to the next rotation. Now we started in Fortress, we're at Hagios now, we're going to go to Agna Desert, and I'm going to make sure I switch it back to Private before we teleport there. We're going to go up to the Storage and teleport here for our next Zone Recon mission. Now this one does require the additional Stealth Infiltration um, in order to get the additional materials. It is possible to do the Infiltration without Sharon's Stealth, um, However, it's very tedious and I wouldn't recommend it. Farming Sharon is very easy. You just have to jump in, do some normal mode dungeons, um, and you can get her full pieces very easy. And I believe she takes less than a day to research. So if you go and do it now, you'll probably farm it in less than two hours and have it by tomorrow, you know what I mean? Um, on my modules, I just have a bunch of stuff to give me skill duration. So I have skill extension, battle of stamina gives me a little bit and some HP, and then I have maximized duration. So I have really long stealth time. Jump up here. I'm going to go ahead and stealth now. Hopefully that didn't bug out my infiltrate. No, it did. Awesome. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to go ahead, break all the barrels with our invisible, lovely Sharon. Um, and then we're going to kill the boss and hopefully, hopefully, get our amorphous material. All right, so I'm going to switch here. Um, my teammate, who is hoping to get Ultimate Vaisa as well, is going to jump in here, help me kill the boss. Um, and with any luck, one of us, both of us, none of us will get some amorphous materials. Um, we'll see. There we go. Alright, so, no amorphous material this time, it looks like it, which is unfortunate. Um, next one in our rotation is going to be Vespers. So we're going to jump down to Vespers here. We're going to head up to the Moonlit Lake, and we're going to go do the uh, Zone Recon mission at the top left of the zone here. Again, like I said, this this one, so the one that we just did, and this one we're coming into now, do require the stealth mechanic to drop the appropriate amorphous material. Now, what I would suggest is doing this rotation of these four different zones in sequence, farming up, you know, six or seven of each of the amorphous materials, and then going to their respective uh, reactors and popping all of those in at once and then if you get one of the pieces you need cut that out of your rotation and you're good to go um the fortress and hagios um infiltrations drop two different amorphous materials that each have an equal chance to drop the vice a piece so um in terms of the pieces um the first two zones that in the rotation are going to have a chance to drop the spiral catalyst blueprint um, and then the next one is has a chance to drop the visa code and then the one after that has a chance to drop the uh, Stabilizer blueprint and then like I said at the start of the video the enhanced cells is from the dungeon um, and boss respectively So this one's not up at the moment um, It's going to be a few moments before this one respawns Typically, if the respawn timer is more than a minute or a minute and a half, I'm very impatient and I'll just TP to the next uh, mission in my sequence. So rather than waiting here and wasting a bunch of time, I would jump in and I'd just go back up to Fortress, um, straight down here to the Frozen Valley and go back to that infiltration once again. Um, I'll throw in the description of the video the list of the different zones and areas that you want to do in this sequence. Um, you don't have to do it in this particular order, you can do it in what order, whatever order you want, but I've kind of done it like top down, if that makes sense. Like I have Fortress down to Hagios, Agna over to Vespers. That's just the way that my brain likes it. You can do it back to front if you want, you could do it mismatch, however the shit you like. Maybe alphabetical order. Would that work? Yeah, just go A, F, H, V, whatever, I don't know. Completely up to you guys. Um, but we're going to skip forward here, hopefully kill this one real quick. If we're lucky, drop our Morphous material. Um, Alright, so this one's respawned, fantastic. I'm going to jump in, I'm going to stealth, I'm making sure to stealth before I actually get in view of the monsters so they do not aggro to me. We're going to go through, break all of the barrels, and then once the barrels are broken, you can pop out a stealth, kill the boss, and get your, hopefully, Morphous material, and maybe even a Shape Stabilizer. Um, if you have friends that want to come along and join you for the farm, like my friend is doing, they just stay well and truly out of range of the uh, the facility while you're doing the sneaky sneaky boy. Um, and then once uh, things are good to go, he's down here now. All right, I'm going to start DPSing the boss um, and kill that bad boy. Now my Sharon is very weak because I do not play Sharon. The only reason I have her is for holy lag um, for these purposes. So. Uh, I'm actually glad to have him along in this case because he makes farming these materials much much easier for me um, Now we didn't actually 
What are you laughing for? Did you just drop all of them again? I got them all. Wait, again. you dropped what? Two amorphous materials and a shape stabilizer? No, 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 no shape. Ah, no shape. Time, but I did drop two. I've dropped all. Th I mean, I've dropped two each time we've come here. Jesus Christ, that's so lucky. All right, good stuff. All right, muting again. Um, but anyway, that's the rotation. I'll go through it once more time. One more time. I'm not going to do it. I'll just show you on the map. We're going to go to Fortress, down to Frozen Valley, portal in here kill the uh the strategic outpost you do not need to stealth for this one then we're going to go to hagios down to the bottom zone the dune base teleport in kill the strategic outpost do not need to stealth and then we're going to go to agna desert we're going to go up to the top zone up to the storage teleport in clear the uh zone recon mission this one you do need to stealth um and then vespers up to the top low uh moonlight lake up here teleport in run over to the zone recon clear this one you do need to stealth for this one again i will put it in the uh description of the video the order of which ones you need to do and whether or not you need to do the additional rewards and then like i said at the start of the video the very last piece comes from the kingston magister lab dungeon and then you have to open it at the executioner um i believe it is number 56 so that's this one here you can see the ultimate vaisa enhanced cells blueprint easy enough so you have to jump through grab all of those pieces just a little bit of rng needs to be on your side and within no time you're going to have all the pieces you require um i have a bunch of the blueprints for this faisa code i haven't got yet gone to farm the dungeon one just yet actually that's a lie i do have a bunch of the 56s i just haven't actually gone into executioner to open them all yet i believe do i have 56s i thought i did they're probably in here somewhere can i search my inventory no of course you can't um 56 where are you do i have any of them i don't know they look slightly different do i have a 56 maybe i don't have a 56 maybe i did open them i forget but they're very easy to farm the dungeon takes like five minutes man you just fly through if you're a bunny even luckier blast it kill the boss get your amorphous material times two and then go blast the executioner yeehaw all right Thanks for watching guys hopefully this was informative and helped you in your path towards farming ultimate viesa viesa however you want to say it um i'm going to go and finish the last two pieces that i need now hopefully it won't take me too much longer and before i know it i'm going to be leveling my ultimate viesa and i don't know what i'm going to do with it i just want to try her see how she is and maybe try some cooked builds because uh i already got a fully built bunny and a fully built glay and a fully built whatever so we're getting crazy out here all right Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll surely be able to help you out. And good luck on your travels. See you later. I got it! Yes! 10% oh, on the blueprint, the energy is also good. I got it! Yes! Oh no, oh no, it dropped the fucking shape and the fucking thing as I'm down.